and um, you're trying to figure out like what to do. What are you exactly trying to act? Like, what do you currently have? Do you currently have credit cards? Have you ever been evicted? Do you have car repos? What does your life look like? Y'all know I've had evictions. I've had car repossessions and all that stuff. And my credit is really good right now. So it can be done regardless of all those things. What do you think about the Divi program? Do you recommend? I don't really like it. Like, I like what they offer and it's really easy to get approved, but they're not letting you lock in the price. Like, if the home that you buy from them, if it's $250,000 and in two more years that home worth $500,000, I don't see when I read on, on their website, I don't see them letting you lock in that $250,000 price. They're going to sell it to you for what it's valued at. So, I don't know if that's smart. You can easily just add your rent if you pay your rent on time, you can add that to your credit report. You could pay. It's $10 a month to get them to add your rent, rental month payments to your credit report, and that'll help boost your credit score. I never had anything in my name but a furniture note. Never had an eviction or a credit card. Okay, good. So who do you bank with? Do you, do you have a bank account, or are you just using uh, prepaid cards? What does it look like right now? If you guys uh, never had a credit card, you probably can get a credit card on your own. When y'all fill out the credit card applications, you want to make sure you put the correct amount of income on every application. Same job on every application. So you can try to get your own card. She said prepaid card. So I'm going to need you to open up a bank account. You're grown now. We need to go get a bank account. They're free. Some of them only charge you $5. Some of them charge you maybe a uh, hundred dollars to keep in there. Some of them, most of them are five. Go to a credit union. I highly suggest a credit union, especially if you want to start establishing credit. Go with a credit union. What you're going to do is y'all got a Suncoast credit union. I like Suncoast. It's five dollars to open up your account. Five dollars for the check and five dollars for the um savings. I love Navy. Everybody love Navy, but I like Suncoast as well. Even, um, what's the other one? Citibank is fine. And I like PNC. I got all my Amazon money go down. I don't even mess with it. What about delinquent student loans? You can get them back in, on track. Call and talk to the people and do you a new agreement. If you're trying to buy a house and your student loans are stopping you, what you do is you get in the payment plan with them. You make three months worth of on-time payments. You know, get them out of deferment. And that won't hurt you anymore. They'll, instead of them calculating how much you owe in student loans, they'll start to calculate what your monthly payment is for the student loans. But you got to get back on track. I know even myself and my husband, we do this when, when we're not doing right. That's when you don't check your credit score. You don't want to look at your bank account versus when I'm doing things right. I'm on top of shit. I'm looking at my account every day, multiple times a day. I'm looking at my credit score every day. For those of you who don't currently do this, it's because your life is fucked up. And in order to get it together, you got to admit that it's fucked up. I want you to go ahead and look at it. I want you to go ahead and start making the phone calls. It's simple. My great, my grandma always say that. It's so easy to get on these phone, phone with the people. You're caught up for repo right now because you're scared to get on the phone and just ask them, hey, can we move a car payment to the end of my um, term? I'm having a rough month this month. I was actually just affected by the hurricane and... um. I had some other unrelated expenses. They'll move two car payments. But you're so scared to get on the phone. You can't do that, guys. You guys have to. You like GTE. I used to have GTE. I don't like them as much as I like Navy and Suncoast. So what you have to do is you have to. Yep, it's loan forgiveness out now. You can apply for. But what you have to do is you just need to sit down. Let's pull your credit report. After you pull your credit report, you want to sit down and ask yourself, did you do that? Did you did I did I even do that? Do you remember even doing that? Was that really me? Look, is my social security number correct? Is there anything not correct on this report? Have I moved? Do I no longer want to get mail there? You can actually call and have them update your address to one address and one phone number and one employer. And then when you do that, that credit report looks so good. Anything that's associated to that other stuff that's no longer you, it's going to get removed, most likely. Disclaimer, most likely. I applied for my first credit card for Capital One after I got my credit card up with the Chime credit card. And I put that I make $48,000 a year and I pay two fifty dollars a month on a mortgage. I was approved for a $3,000 credit card with Capital One Silver and one one k for Capital 
uh one credit card rewards also y'all get in the facebook groups they got a bunch of facebook groups about this stuff too if y'all trying to change our life and level up and the people around you aren't good examples you have to surround yourself with people that are currently where you want to be if they're not currently where you want to be we don't need to be associating with them why the fuck we hanging out with them all day like it's cool to have fun with them but to just sit there and like be goal oriented i get around people who are doing what i want to do i don't have to physically get around them because we live in a virtual world i could just get into a facebook group i could just pay them that's the best way. i could pay them for a course i could just go buy their ebook like they have all of this stuff accessible to you but you have to be willing to put in either the time or the money, or both. I'm a both kind of girl. I'm going to give you my time and my money. But yeah, you make sure you're doing that all the same. Don't change it. If you say your income, how she say, is 48 grand, her mortgage only $300, say it every time on every application. And then when you want to increase, that's when it's time to call them and let them know that your uh, salary increased. I always put the household income for the credit cards. Look at that. Give y'all a tip. And if you don't pay all the rent, maybe your husband helping you and stuff, stop putting you pay all the rent. If your rent fifteen hundred dollars, but you're only responsible for two fifty, your rent is only two fifty. That's all you're responsible for. I'm a budget coach and a real estate investor. That's what kind of classes I want to put up, teaching people how to manage finances. Then book a one on one with me. I can help you. Book a one on one with me, sis. Surround yourself with people who are doing what you want to do exactly. And that's the thing they they don't mind. Successful people don't mind. They want you to pay them. That be the problem. Y'all don't be wanting to pay them. I don't mind. I pay. I pay. I buy books out of the store. I buy books off people's websites. I buy classes. I pay. It could be a person doing a social media class. It could be one of my own students. And I just want to see what they're teaching. I pay and I show up. Hey, how you doing? They're like, Peach, you ain't here today. Yep, girl, how you doing? I'm coming. Maybe I might learn one new thing. I'm big on that. As long as you learn one new thing, it's worth it. Sometimes you might not learn nothing new. Maybe it'll be reinsurance for, yes, you're doing it right. I don't know, but I always learn at least one new thing. Anytime I take a class, I always learn at least one new thing, and that'd be worth it to me. What books do you recommend? Oh, I don't got no books that I recommend for y'all. I don't have a book club. Go to Love Dorsey. Love Dorsey has a book club where she give out book recommendations. What's the most you've ever spent on a course or mentorship? It's been low value, 2700 for a one-on-one. -on -one. That's the lowest, I mean the highest I've ever paid. I haven't gotten into the 10000 50000 100 grand club yet. I would love to. I would love for ET to be a mindset mentor for me. Like That would be a dream. I would recommend his book, Buy You Owe You. I look at stocks. It's awful. Serious question. Daughter has a pretty good credit score. But facts, when she applied for a car loan, they told her she has a house. Someone messed with her credit. Not sure how to get that off her credit. So somebody done took out a mortgage loan in her name. That's common. This Y'all in Florida? What a house that? Is it in Florida? Florida folk do that kind of stuff. Um, but that's common, actually. People do stuff like that. They get mortgages in your names. They steal your identity. She needs to file a police report. I would find my house and kick them out. That's what I'd do. I don't know if you if you could legally do that, but that's what I would do. I love your energy. It's on fire. Thank you. I think like-minded people should surround themselves with their kind. I don't want broke people around me exactly. That's what my struggle with Peach Page is for. My struggle with Peach Page is for those who are currently stuck at the bottom. The bottom, you in the struggle, and you don't see yourself getting out of there. You hate everybody who is above you. You just want to stay low. You just want low-income tips because you don't never plan on coming up here. I find myself these days, I be going in the mall sometimes. I don't even look at prices. I buy meat now and I don't even look at prices sometimes. Um, Some people might say that's dumb. Like, that's how you ain't going to stay rich. But I just feel like I'm that comfortable. And that's a great feeling to know. Like, I don't even got to struggle and be like, how are we going to buy this and this? I really don't want to ever have to live like that again. But for those of you who like to see that kind of content, go watch it on Struggle with Peach. I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to be on Struggle with Peach. Thank you. We don't know where the house is. Oh, you don't know what state it's in? It don't show up on a credit report. Who's the holder of the loan? So when you pull her credit report, it don't show who, ho who holds the loan. 
It should tell you the lender, the mortgage person, the mortgage originator. Who has the loan? Call them. Give her information and let them give you the address. Shit. That's what she do. I'm going to eat again. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat my pancakes. Peach, the video I posted in September, can I get, can I replay them in October? How many times can I play the same videos? Oh, yeah, you can't double content. Facebook ain't on that. You got to have new stuff. Did they give me third? You have to have new stuff, guys. They'll only pay you that one time from off the video. If you do that, you got to delete the old video. And you keep doing that, they'll demonetize you. They will demonetize you, honey. Don't play with them. They're not full of But I don't know it all, but I know a lot. Mm-mm. To me, it's not it's not worth it. My pleasure. Good luck. Baby, I'll kick them out my house. I'll kick them out. That's like that lady that had that Airbnb guest that wanna leave. And the police that she couldn't pick out. Who? Baby, I would have beat you out the door. You would have left. I would have beat you out the door. But yeah, that's crazy. Y'all got any more questions for me before I go? You're very resourceful. Thank you. Your credit, uh, God, with this information. You, I, I think she meant to talk about my credit repair kit. I, I assume that's what you meant. Just wondering where can I find your cash app? Dollar sign, this is Peach. My website, peachmcintyre.com. Peachmcintyre.com. All I do is eat, eat, eat. Man, I'm fat as fuck. I'm gonna warm up this third. I got so excited, y'all. I had went to the store and I seen a bottle of syrup. We had one to Win Dixie, which I never shopped at Win Dixie. That bottle of syrup you can warm up, baby. It was everything. It was everything. Honey. I ain't seen one of these since I was young. I can't even get the plastic off. There we go. The microwavable syrup. I said. I ain't had that since about 2002. Figure out your niche. Vendor. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't want to do that. People say it's money to be made. They're making all this money, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> You'll never scroll past my life. Maybe that's the problem. People be so busy hating me for the statuses I make that... um. They don't know me. I just always remind myself that them motherfuckers don't know me. They haters. They don't know me. Now, I don't know if I like they, um, they pancakes. You can see somebody so good. I know I'm just going to get pancakes from them. I don't need to eat this. Lord, I am. Judge your mammy. I don't want to hear judge your mammy. I'm going to do what I want for judge your mammy. I got a smart mouth. They can't stand me. I be telling the haters to judge their mammy. Um, the address fully shows on the report how we found out someone was using my best friend. Oh, when you look at the demographics part, where it got all your addresses at. That's crazy, but keep posting videos. That's the next step. That's the next step, boo. Ah. Oh. Hey, girl. Yeah, they, they pancakes. I ain't gonna say I would order they pancakes. It's like real oily. Let me see. They real oily. It's enough for me. I don't say grace. Why lie? And y'all be in my comments writing essays about it. 
Like, that's going to make me sad. And I'm not. I do what I want to do. That's my favorite part of this job. I do what I want to do. Not what you want me to do. What I want to do. And if it's a mistake, then I learn from it. Some mistakes can be spared. But I'm a naturally inquisitive person. So some things I just have to learn the hard way. I haven't had pancakes in years. Man, them pancakes, they just greasy like somebody grandma cooked them that can't cook breakfast. Exactly. You got the invitation, can't get people to look. I know why y'all don't be um making no money. <laughs> But I ain't gonna tell y'all right now. I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna tell y'all why y'all ain't making no money. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna be mean. Y'all gonna say, "Oh, she being mean. She's being mean again." I can't stand her, fucking bitch. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Now, Miss Lisa, I feel like it's better to do them all. I do it all. I ain't gonna never tell you to do one thing, baby. Only thing I'm gonna tell you is mess with one man, so you'll know who your baby daddy is. Other than that, do it all, honey. Do it all. Just mess with one man at a time. After that, do it all, honey. Why would you just do one? I ain't gonna tell y'all. Y'all don't need me to be honest. Because every time I'm honest with y'all, y'all go in like I'm the villain. Y'all go in like I'm the villain. I don't feel like it today. Just send me a dollar for my house. Baby, I'm begging, baby. I'm begging, begging, begging. Why y'all who ain't send me no money keep saying, we sent you. We ain't send me nothing because you ain't send me shit. This ain't no we. Somebody going to say, don't go gamble with our money that we sent you. Girl, you ain't sent me shit. It's no we. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I love the honesty. Thank you. Shout out to Miss Tina Moore for the stars. I can't send a comment because you got to pay me. Shout out to Truly Angel Lynn. On YouTube, you got to pay me now to talk. I did that because that man kept spamming my comments. But moving forward, I think that's what I'm going to do. Over here. You got to pay. You got to pay to play with the girl. No, you don't need no camera. You need the iPhone. You need a phone with good memory. No, no camera. No, yeah. I'm mad that I was talking shit about the pancakes and now I'm eating them. I can hear wood now. You sure was talking shit, but you over there eating it. Send my dollar for my house. That shit gonna be so beautiful. Imagine me. Making $800,000. Oh, I'm about to make me a GoFundMe next. Because y'all knows y'all want to see. So for those who want to actually see the money add up, I'm going to do me a GoFundMe. And if I don't make no money, y'all going to be laughing at me. But y'all know GoFundMe, they minimum $5. You can't send a dollar on GoFundMe. It's 5 But what if I get like $800,000 and I go buy me a house with donation? That will be so fucking amazing. I feel like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for me. I'm gonna make me a video. And that's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, I decided, I wanna do me a sign. I told my husband that. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take my tripod with me. I'm gonna do me a sign. Say, can y'all give me a dollar to buy me a new house? And I'm gonna go big on the corner. And that's what it's gonna say. I need a dollar to buy me a house. Some people gonna say, get a fucking job. Let's see how they react. I think that's what I'm gonna do today. That's the move. We finna panhandle. That's the move. I make a video. What if you get two million dollars? Then if I get two million dollars, then I buy me two houses. Now I probably buy me like six. I buy me seven houses. I buy me a million dollar house, and then the other million will spend in Alabama and Georgia. That's it. Maybe a little bit in Hernando County. Yeah, let me make me a sign. Let me see if I got a box. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to say make another. <laughs> I'm 
want to do a video. I'm going to take y'all with me. Y'all want to come hang out with me live. Y'all going to come bring me a dollar. Y'all going to bring me a dollar. I'm going to put, I'm gonna put trying to buy a house. They're going to say, if you want to get your fucking hair done. That's all I'm going to go do. Let me get my tripod. That's what we're doing today. Get a peddler's license so, so it's legal. I don't know how to do that. I'm just going to hide my sign when I see the police. When the police come, we're going to flip it. This a lady by my house. She used to do that every day. And our nanny follow her. And she got a Tesla. She ain't say she was trying to buy a house. She was trying to pay her rent. And I said, well, damn, how much rent she owe? I had gave her $25. She was out there every day. Same time every day. For about eight weeks. So I think she came up with the money because I ain't seen her lately. I'm finna do it too. Y'all don't got it in y'all. See, y'all be talking. Y'all ain't got it in y'all. I want to see. Go stand on the corner and say, can you help me buy a house? Give me a dollar to help me buy a house. Let's see what happens. They know that your house is high. They know it's high. I'm so silly. I love you, huh? I'm dead serious. I hope y'all know I'm serious. I got to work. But the spontaneous person in me, like, girl, go get the whiteboard. Let me see if we got a cardboard box. The sign ain't got to be that big. What corner should I stand on? Should I do 301 and beat Ben? Should I go stand in Temple? Where should I go? I'm just trying to buy a house. Give me a dollar. That's what I'm finna say. Let me write it down. Let me show y'all what it's going to look like. Y'all know I can't write that good. I was trying to get everybody to shop my website, but they ain't going. So instead, I got to be it. Trying to buy a house. So say trying to buy a house. I need more room. Give me a dollar. This is what it's gonna look like. Trying to buy a house, give me a dollar. When the police come. When the police come, I'm flippy. They're like, man, what are you doing? I might even let him in the office. I'm just trying to buy a house. I just need a dollar. I just need a couple of dollars. I need a couple of dollars. I said the same thing. I saw a woman two years ago do it. Man, they had the dog, they had the dog trained with the sign holding the money. I wouldn't be lying. I wouldn't be lying. That's the part that blowing people like you a scammer. Like, I can't believe you guys are sending her fucking money. She's a scammer. I didn't say I was broke. I just need some more money to buy the house. Let's see. Shit, it's 800,000 of y'all following me. Why not? Why not? Why well, I feel like my drunk cousin. I got a food high. Girl, she's high off the food. I have invested in who invests in others. You're amazing, and I know God got you. Thank you. God got me. Let them know you got six kids. I ain't gonna bring the kids up. I just want you to give me a dollar. Why I gotta have kids for you to give me a dollar to help me buy a house? It's a dollar. It's a dollar. Y'all so funny. Y'all be with the shit. What y'all doing for Halloween? Y'all going trick or treating? This is water, actually. I don't drink. For those of you who don't know, I've never had an alcoholic beverage. And I have never done any kind of drugs. All of this has always sobered me. When I flip out and I cry, me. When I act the fool, what's up, Julie? Me when I mean me, that's why I don't delete shit. It'd be all me. I know one of my Facebook friends had a breakdown. I ain't get to see it. I was mad. Like when y'all see me break down, it'd be the talk of town. Why I couldn't see her? She deleted it, but she had a breakdown and she deleted it. And I said, Well, I have breakdowns, I don't delete shit. I just leave it up there. You want to see my breakdown for a couple years ago? Go look at the shit. We just leave it up there because when I did it, when I said it, I meant it. When I said it, I motherfucking meant it, okay? It's just that sometimes I change my mind. Now, if I change my mind 10 minutes later, bitch, I change my mind, leave me alone. But I just leave it up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm high off the food. It's, it's the sugar. It's the sugar, honey. Let's not talk about weirdos anymore. Let's talk about the class coming uh, November 11th. You mean November 1st? It's not a class. It's a mentorship, a group mentorship. Not a class. Are you? Uh, are y'all dressing up 
I'm not. I want to get me a costume. All my children have gotten all their stuff, but they daddy don't want to dress up with me. I was like, why we can't dress up? Why you can't be SpongeBob and I could be Sandy? And he don't want to do it. I'm like, we could be Minnie Mouse and Minnie. He don't want to do it. So I've never had a Halloween costume. I would love to get me one. I don't know what's holding me back. Never ever in life had one. I'm going to take pictures of everyone's jar that spent money on it from today to Halloween. Oh, that's nice. You should do videos instead of pictures because Facebook don't pay for uh, pictures. They don't. How much is my mentorship? My cell is over. Can't join. There's no, no point in talk, talking about the price over put your kid back in school well, i never took him out baby i never took him out people is weird it's fine you just ready yeah so that's what i'm doing right now i'm gonna send out the rest of these emails we gotta um you're gonna be a scruple oh that's gonna be nice we have to um Send out the rest of the emails for these classes so I could get to enjoy my weekend. And I've been on here for a long, long time talking to y'all about an hour. About an hour. Who pretty black? Is that Pee Wee? Pee Wee, is that you?